Good morning, everybody. I hope you're all doing well today. Getting ready for the big nor'easter that's coming. <clears throat> so, I'm here today to introduce you to a couple um, projects that I'm working on. And this is going to be my next journal. <clears throat> and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be using this as my cover piece and um, she is attached to a piece of um, uh, paper underneath and then the <clears throat> burlap on the back and she is going to be attached to this beautiful pussy willow fabric I love Pussy Willows. They are my favorite. So, um, so far, I have got the front fabric. I am going to put the uh, crinkle in the middle. Get these out of the way. I've got three signatures started. And I am waiting for um, Amazon to deliver some uh, quilt batting because I thought between the inside fabric and the, um, the um, Amazon packaging, I want to put a layer of quilting fabric. And that way, it will make it nice and fluffy. <clears throat> now, this looks wide right now, and that is because I cut it at... 14, I think 14 inches. You know, our usual is 12. Well, I cut mine at 14 and then, <clears throat> excuse me, I put a two inch spine and sew down one side of the two inches and the other side of the two inches and uh, make the spine so it will hold the three or four signatures. So that is how I am going to make this journal. So when the signatures are in, <clears throat> and I know it's it's hard to tell right now, but when the signatures are in, it will be at the um, the usual five and a half to six inch um, width. So that is what one thing I am working on, and. Um, I'm, I love it, and also my papers that I chose for this is, uh, let's see here, My White Cat Journal, and these are the papers, well, not that, <laughs> these are the papers that I, I will be using in this kit, so um, very pretty. Journey of Life, A Butterfly Story. So it's my white cat journal. And then the papers, the digital that I chose is Journey of Life, A Butterfly Story. So very pretty. Lots of um, embellishments to go along with the paper. So um, <clears throat> that is going to be my next journal project. So I will set this aside. Got my three signatures started. Got some string from somewhere. So that's going to be what I'll be working on. And then I started this a while back. And this is somewhat of a lunch lunch bag little journal that I'm starting and what I did with this is I have one two three four five six seven eight I have eight lunch bags and I cut these down to started out with these <clears throat> and I had cut them down to so when it's folded I folded them all up like so. 
and make sure you get the um, burnish it down really well. So it's like this and I cut, let's see, these are about eight and seven eighths. And this one is about eight, eight and three eighths, I think. So I cut off, let's see, turn this around. Yeah, I cut off about half an inch. Nope, less than that, sorry. I cut out about a quarter of an inch. What I did was cut um, right above the eight. So actually where this little, where this little uh, thumb hole is, I cut right below it, cut that right off. So it, of course it would be straight. So I took a whole lunch bag and this lunch bag is, just so you'll know, it is 12, about 12 and a quarter. Wow, that's a big lunch bag, huh? By six. So 12 by six lunch bag. And after you fold this up, Cut that little thumb notch out, and then I put eight of them together. And this, the top one, of course I have this way. And then I put one, two, three, four, five punch holes in each one. And I am going to try to figure out how to attach them like this. And my thought was to make a cover that's just a little bit, you know, overlapping, <clears throat> but I want it straight at the back here. I want it to line up with the back, but I want a little lip around the, um, the rest of it because it will be the cover. So I am going to cut out a <coughs> cut out a piece of chipboard. I have two chipboards here. And I want to make it so it is I want this to be all the way to the end and then have a little lip Think about like that. So I'm going to mark it right there. And I want a little bit of a lip to go at the end, right about there. So let me cut this one and see how it, see how it will work. And I don't have any idea what I'm going to decorate this with yet, but I will be choosing some, I don't know, maybe a digital or some, <clears throat> maybe some um, paper from the, uh, from a, oh, what am I trying to say here? Hello. A paper pad there maybe a paper pad I will use oops I want to check this first see if see if it's about the right size so if this is at the end like so I will have a little lip all the way around so that is about how I want the cover and, <clears throat> well, actually both covers. So I am going to measure this and cut it exactly the same. So 
that will be a top cover. <clears throat> and cut this one the same. Oh, I read a story to my granddaughter a little earlier and it seems like the more I talk, the more uh, sensitive and uh, painful my tongue gets. So I am going to find out, ask my doctor whenever I see him again, is it going to always be like this? I think my problem is, I think it's rubbing, um, rubbing against my uh, back teeth and it makes, it goes numb and um, <clears throat> it just feels numb and then it, after a while the numbness turns into pain. So, I like this and then um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take <clears throat> one of my paper bags that has the holes and this one this one here just needs a little tidbit taken off for some reason so let me get do that real quick just a little sliver. There. So I am going to put this bag where I want it to be so I can measure the holes. make sure it's as straight as as a bag will be and a bag will not be very straight you all know that because it's just crookedly made okay now I'm going to take a pencil mark where my little holes are so I can <clears throat> Get my holes. I don't know if I can go through two. And I'm not sure what I used. I think, whoops, I didn't use that, that's for sure. I think I used this, this one. So let's see if my little crop, crocodile will go through two. Oh, very easy, very easy. I'm concentrating to find the hole. There. So my next dilemma is, do I decorate first or do I um, sew together first? I think, I think the best thing to do is to decorate first because, and, I, and I'll probably put, I'm not sure yet, because this is something I've never done before, so I'm, I'm working, figuring out as I go along. Um, I'll probably put the um, little hole savers in here. <clears throat> um, and I, don't really want to put them in all of these like this in all of them so I might put like these on the bags and um, I don't think they'll show anyway but I will um, you know ink them up so I think I'll put these on all the bags and then 
put some of the <clears throat> some of these in the in the covers. I think that's what I'll do. And I'm not sure what color to use yet because I have to choose what I'm going to decorate with. So that will be the next thing we will do is, um, you know, next time around, I will hopefully have my papers picked out and <laughs> eventually we need to figure out how we're going to how we are going to put this and hold this together. I really don't want to use rings on this project. I would like to find another way to uh, hold this together. And I also think, now that I just did this, I think I am going to have to have this bend somehow. <clears throat> so I wonder if we <clears throat> oh I want to show you this I got this at the thrift store the other day and I thought it would make a wonderful it's only a dollar I thought it would make a wonderful little glass mat it is glass just taking off the dollar thing here but um, I was hoping it wouldn't be too bright for you guys. But I need something to um, do my, like when I'm inking and um, when I'm inking and doing things uh, where, you know, you put the ink down and then you spray with water. I wanted something like this to do it on. So I'll clean it up and everything. But if it's not too bright for you guys, um, this is what I'm going to be using for my glass mat. I thought that was real, a real fine. I'm going to set that right down here. So, what I need to do is find out if I want to or how to <clears throat> make this so it bends. So, if I Go in about an inch. And then bend. I think that will be okay to do that and then I'll do it on the back side too <clears throat> and then when this is tied or however we do this oh yeah that'll work okay so if you make a cover like this go in about an inch and score and that should be fine. So I'll do it to the back also. I'm kind of excited about this because, you know, after you decorate, you have, um, I'll probably <clears throat> glue these all down so they stay flat, but then you have the inside to put um, cards. And then when you, open it um it should be little pockets here you can make you can either make them little pockets or you can decorate the whole thing anyway as we go along we're just going to see what we you know see how we want to do it i don't even know if it's going to work but i liked uh I like the idea of giving it a try and see what happens. Let's see, how do I need to do this? This is going to open this way. And this needs to open this way. So I want to put it at 
I'm just, all I'm doing is sticking it on my board at a number 10, and then I am going to go down to nine, one inch, and make my mark. And that should fold up that way. Okay. <clears throat> so hopefully that will work and we can next time commence to uh, decorating. I like it so far, so we need to work on the cover. Um, figure out how we're going to hold it together and decorate all the pages. I love it. So guys, um, <clears throat> that's all I have for you today. I just wanted to show you what I will be working on and, um, come on every now and again and have you work with me and show you where we are on our little projects. I'm sure there'll be other projects in between. Um, so, uh, hope you guys have a beautiful week. What's today? What's today? Thursday. Oh my gosh, it's Thursday already. So I hope you guys have a, a good weekend coming up. Please be careful with the um, nor'easter that's coming if it hits your town. They say it's going to be very windy and very, very cold. So you guys all keep warm. And um, if stay safe, stay healthy. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. And um, hit that bell and you'll get future videos of us working on our projects. <clears throat> excuse me and um where was i lost my train of thought oh i want to thank you all so appreciate you all leaving my husband when he sells when he sells these to you all um you leave such appreciative comments and i read every one of them to my husband and he just loves you all to death. Um, thank you so much for leaving such gracious comments. And um, the last one, the last girl, um, said that it helped her uh, carpal tunnel very much to use these. So you guys, thank you so much. And my husband thanks you too for supporting him as a disabled veteran and um, for leaving such wonderful comments that I can read to him. Um, other than that, uh, thank you for all the comments to me also. <clears throat> my husband's get better, my husband gets better ones, not just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, I read them all to him and he loves, he loves it. Um, other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Please stay safe. And I will see you next time when we figure out what we're going to do and when I get my batting for this. And um, we'll go from there. Okay, guys. You have a wonderful day. Happy crafting. Bye-bye.